Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about something amazing. It's something that keeps us all grounded literally. Do you know what it is? It's called gravity. So, all started when Isaac Newton was sitting under an apple tree. He saw something amazing. He saw a red apple hanging from a branch above him. And he asked, why do apples fall to the ground? So, he thought and thought. And then something incredible happened. The apple fell from the tree and gently bumped him on the head. That's when he started thinking even more. Isaac realized it was a big question, and he decided to find the answer. So, he studied, read books, and did lots of experiments. Gravity is the force that the Earth has. It's what keeps us from floating away into space. And imagine if there were no gravity. We'd all be floating around like balloons. <laughs> Did you know that the astronauts in space are not outside the effects of gravity? They are not in zero gravity. They are simply experiencing microgravity. I mean they are simply falling indefinitely. As they fall, they move forward, and this way, they never reach the Earth. In Einstein's view, gravity is the distortion of this fabric that we call space and time. So. The more mass an object has, the more it distorts that fabric, the lower the mass, the less the distortion. For example, this is a small particle, it wants to go there, but it can't. It is required to traverse the most direct route, within the curved space. Here's a cool space fact. If we brought a special scale to the moon to measure our weight, we'd find out that we're actually lighter than when we're on Earth. It's like a cosmic magic trick. The moon is much smaller than our big, heavy Earth, so it can't pull us down as strongly. Here's another cool fact about gravity. Gravity is what keeps Earth and the other planets dancing around the sun. And here's something else, gravity is the reason we have tides in the ocean. Like when the water comes in and goes out. This is a black hole. It's like a super duper strong vacuum cleaner in space. And it's so strong that it can suck up everything nearby even light. Because of its immense gravity. We call it a black hole because we can't see it. If you get too close to a black hole. You can't escape. It's like a one-way door. And once you go in, you can't come out. Scientists are still trying to figure out lots of things about them. Now that we've learned about gravity and general relativity, let's discover something super cool about how things move, or maybe why they don't move. Imagine you have your favorite toy car, and it's just sitting there, it's not moving by itself, right? Well, that's because of something called inertia. Inertia is like a magical force that makes things want to stay still or keep moving the way they are. You see, your toy car doesn't like to start moving all by itself. It needs a little push from you, but once you give it that gentle push, it loves to keep moving until something else, like your hand or a wall, stops it. And guess what? This law isn't just for toy cars. It's for everything, like your ball, your bike, and even you. So, the next time you see something not moving or zooming around, you can think of Newton's first law and remember, Things like to stay still or keep moving until something makes them change. And when it stops. It doesn't want to move again unless you give it another push. So, what does this mean? It means that things like to stay how they are, whether they're moving or not. That's Newton's first law, the law of inertia. Inertia is like a secret friend that helps things decide when to move and when to stop. Thanks for learning with us today. Stay curious and keep exploring the magical world of science. If you want me to make a video about something you like, please write to me. I will be happy to create that video. Find my email in the video's description. Bye.